What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Hands-On Channel. I'm glad you decided to stop by and spend a couple of minutes here with me. I want to talk to you about just a lot of different things. Kind of a, this video is going to be a little bit more of a stream of consciousness. I can just tell you, I don't have any notes or anything, but I've had some stuff that's been really weighing heavily on me uh, for quite a while now. And I'm kind of at an impasse here on the Hands-On Channel on what I'm going to do, what direction I'm going to go and stuff like that and things are still up in the air but I, I i welcome your suggestions down below but i've just you know i feel like i've hit the wall on several different issues and uh i'll just get right into it you know i put out a couple of uh videos related to this little mazda 3 that i've been working on and i bought the car basically because the economy is so terrible you know i mean i guess i guess a lot of you guys don't know who i am or what i do but you know in my personal life I run a small oil field company and you know it's it was started by me I had no big you know financial backers or anything like that other than my own capital uh, starting this business way back in like 2010 I think it was when we officially got going and I'm just gonna tell you straight out the gate man ever ever since Biden took office uh, I've been living off my savings and I'm barely making it man and I'm trying to get you know I'm trying to get views on YouTube. YouTube's not allowing me to do that anymore. Uh, the peak of my channel was the height of the COVID whenever I started talking back against the system and stuff. And some people stuck around after that, but many people didn't. Uh, many people came into my channel and they thought that that's all I was about was talking anti-government stuff and anti, you know, and I'm not really anti-government, but just like anti uh, the current government, right? And talking about anti-COVID policies and different things. They thought that that was all I was about. But no, I had already built a channel based on doing how-tos and DIYs and repairs and, and things like that. And I've had a whole lot of success with that, with that side of things, right? Uh, then the height of the COVID happened. I started gaining lots of traction. Uh, things were looking really good. And then all of a sudden, YouTube blacklisted my channel. And I can just see the viewership, the subscribers, everything, the, the income that I, was, that I was starting to get comfortable with. I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. I can do more if I'm making this level of money. And then that money and that viewership and all that stuff started dropping off. And part of that was because I couldn't uh, talk about the COVID policies at that time because every video that I tried to make, like every other one, I was getting... Uh, flagged as you know medical misinformation or whatever there was just this whole campaign so it was very frustrating going through that whole deal with covid and honestly it changed my view not of america but of my fellow americans from that day forward i will never be able to look at my fellow americans in the same light again in the past i would have looked at them as you know i know not everybody is you know uh Sam Adams or, you know, George Washington or Thomas Jefferson or something like that, right? I get it. But I thought at the base of most Americans was a patriotic core, a core of, of individual liberty and self-governance and stuff like this. And the fact that we all laid down and went along with their bullcrap is still just shocking and alarming to me. That's why I was trying to be a voice of reason during that time. And I think, you know, it gained a lot of traction. A lot of people came in because of that. But uh, back to my little Mazda project. So I've, I've put up a couple of videos because I'm trying to repair this Mazda and kind of get back to some of that. You know, I'm trying to get the algorithm to like me again. I'm trying to get it to where they won't flag every single video. And, uh, you know, the, the way YouTube works is they decide who they're gonna show the video to, right? How they're gonna promote the video. Everything is decided by them, not me. I can put whatever thumbnail up or whatever, you know, it doesn't seem to matter what I put up. I can't get the views on the, especially the political videos. I mean, if, if I'm lucky, I might get a thousand views. I think I had one fairly recently that was SHTF, you know, uh, end of the world type video and I do believe that stuff. I'm not I'm not backing off of my beliefs I still believe all that stuff, but I think the point that I'm trying to make is that I have covered in great detail 
the plans of the new world order, the 17 goals of sustainability that they're pushing, and it's, it's coming rapidly. A lot of people say there is no correlation between the year 2030 and the Agenda 2030, but I strongly disagree. I believe Agenda 21 was numbered as such because that was the plan to have in effect by the year 2021. They weren't fully successful, but that doesn't mean they're not in the background trying. I mean, I just saw a video the other day of, of Nancy Pelosi way back in the day, like back in the 90s, where they were basically uh, praising this globalist agenda for sustainability and all these catchwords, that these buzzwords. We've talked about all this stuff. I've done tongue-in-cheek videos where I've tried to be humorous about my approach of going about this, but honestly, it's, it's impossible for me to be humorous about this stuff. My country is dying. It's like watching the best relative, you've, your, your favorite loved one of all time. It's like watching them being poisoned to death by people all around them, and you're standing there doing nothing. But, you know, I can come out here into the ether of the internet and scream at the top of my lungs. I can get more and more Alex Jonesian in my style. I can get angry and bitter and, and come on here and do all this stuff all the time. And that might satisfy a small percentage of my audience. But a lot of people would leave because of that. Because a lot of people did subscribe to my channel because I do how-tos, DIYs, maybe some tool that they were looking at on Amazon. They weren't sure if they should buy it or not. Maybe they came and watched my video and saw my review about it and were like, oh yeah, that's a pretty good tool. I see this guy who actually uses tools and knows how to use them. I see him using it and he's giving it a good review. That actually means something. You know, I don't know how many times I've been looking for a product. This is kind of a sidebar, but it drives me nuts when I go and type in a product name and I get that robotic voice that's a fake review video that was probably created in India or China somewhere or something. And there, I can look on there and see it's getting millions of views and it's some fake AI generated robot voice because the person, whoever made the video, is, is either embarrassed or has such a strong accent or whatever that they don't want to use their voice. I hate that. I immediately click off of those things. Or these, you know, when you click on, like you're looking for, let's say you're looking at DeWalt drills or something. You're trying to find out about this certain model. You'll click on it and you'll get like a whole page recommended by Google on YouTube of, oh, top 10 tools, top 10 this or that. And you're not wanting to look at 10 different tools. You're wanting to look at this one specific tool. But instead, they're force feeding you this stuff. They're deciding what you're going to look at in that way. Now you can dig a little deeper, but most people don't. And therein lies the problem. So I've talked about numerous things like this. I've talked about the corruption in our current administration uh, until I'm blue at the face, man. I mean, I can't really say anything. I mean, I, I'm not, a, I guess this is, let me summarize what I'm trying to say here. I'm not a repetitive person. I don't like to be repetitive. I don't like to say the same things over and over and over. Therefore, once I've covered a topic, it's kind of like a, uh, uh, that chapter's over. It's done. I've already told you what my position is. I'm not going to come on here and beat a dead horse over and over and over just because that's what propaganda is. That's what propagandists do. They'll tell you a lie over and over and over until someone believes it, right? Until enough people start believing it, and then it becomes the facts. It becomes the, you know, the, the printed data in the encyclopedia. And that's what's going on right now all around our country and on every single issue we face, whether that be the economy, the border, the you know, massive inflation that they're saying is only like 9%. I mean, the guy, Biden, lies every single time he opens his mouth, period, end of discussion. And yet the media is running cover ops for him. Now they've started kind of like turning on him here lately. And that makes me think maybe they're getting ready to bring in Michelle O or Gavin Newsom or somebody like that. But, uh, you know, uh, I think they would have to uh, pretty much end old Joe's political career in some way or another, whether that means they you know, try to take him out, whatever. I mean, we're seeing this stuff around the world. It's scary, man. It's scary. You're seeing these political leaders around the world with attempted assassinations. Uh, the Iranian uh, president just went down in a helicopter. I mean, that's pretty convenient for Israel and, and the United States of America. 
I mean, it could have just been an accident, but it also could have been espionage and, you know, cyber attacks or something like that, that, you know, maybe a, uh, a directed EMP type device or something took that helicopter down at just the right time. I mean, I don't know, but I wouldn't put it past them. And, you know, one of the things, one of the reasons why here lately I've had a harder time making political content is honestly, guys, I don't know who to believe anymore. I mean, I'm the kind of person that if you ever lie to me, I just never trust you again. That's it. I'm not going to let you lie to me twice. You lie to me once, it's done. I'm assuming you're a liar for life. But these people get away with lying on a daily basis and... It's not always a direct lie. Sometimes it's, you know, misconstruing the truth or whatever. But anyway, so that's why I've been really having a hard time here lately as I look at even the sources that I've grown to trust, you know, like Gateway Pundit and, I, and, and, and Breitbart News and Revolver News. And I realize that no matter what you do, there's a slant one way or the other. And the people that are reporting the news are going to report the news from that side of things, Right. So if you go and read the Democrat version of whatever, uh, you know, a Gateway Pundit article, it'll be totally different information in there. And I tend to agree with the Gateway Pundit like 90% of the time, but they've also uh, gone a little too far a couple of times, you know, and had to pull back the reins and apologize later on. I mean, that's the way it is when you're trying to do real investigative journalism, but you know, it's a real shame that it has to be this way, but unfortunately it is this way. You have a, a right view of what's going on, uh, you know, a right wing view of what's going on in the United States and the world. And you have a left wing view of what's going on in the United States and the world. And at no point do we even see eye to eye on even the most basic of things anymore. So I come at things from a perspective of the modern Democrat party are the enemy of free people in the United States of America. I mean, really, if you really want to get historical about it, uh, they were the enemy. They were the ones that were against, uh, you know, freeing the slaves. They were the ones that were against every single type of improvement we were trying to make for the black people that had come out of slavery and stuff. They were against all that stuff. And now, somehow, that shows you how powerful their lies are. Somehow, they have, at least up until this point, they have captured 80, 90% of the black vote. It's unfreaking believable especially if you do just a little bit of homework about Margaret Sanger and some of the people uh, that the Democrats worship. And the things, the altars that they worship too. They may, be, they may pretend to be atheists or agnostic or something like that. But at their core, uh, they're probably more religious than a lot of the Christians you know. Uh, it's just their religion is communism, Marxism, uh, LGBTQ issues, uh, anti-white racism, on and on and on. And these are all things that are if you're on the opposite side of that, automatically you're not going to get much traction on YouTube and places like this. So I can hear you already. Go to Rumble. I've gone to Rumble. Rumble didn't work for me. I'm not going to Rumble. It's not, I'm not going to make it on Rumble, right? Maybe in the future when things level off, you know, or something, maybe if somehow through some miracle Trump wins and he does all the right things and makes all the right appointments and actually does start getting rid of the deep state and draining the swamp like he claimed he was going to do. If that happens, then perhaps things will level off here and the playing field will be level again. But until the playing field is level, uh, I'm trepidatious to make much more political content because I can see it does not help my channel. You know, I know a lot of you guys like that stuff. You know, you, a lot of you guys... You know, it makes you breathe fire like it does me. It fires me up when I see this stuff, when I see my country being destroyed. And I would argue that the reason it lights a fire in your belly is because, like me, you probably know that at this point in things, the Founding Fathers would have already been uh, taking some extreme measures. Let's just put it that way because, you know, again, I don't want any visits from the uh, shadow agencies that 
could come and ruin my life. And that's part of it too. That's part of it too. I guarantee you guys, I guarantee you, even though I'm pretty measured in all the things that I say, I don't usually fly off the handle and say things um, that could get me in trouble. Uh, I'm still terrified of the idea of FBI, ATF, any of these agencies showing up at my house and giving me crap for something I said in a YouTube video and it was taken out of context or, or maybe, it, maybe it wasn't taken out of context. Maybe they just don't like me talking the way I'm talking, whatever. It's a shame. It shouldn't be this way, but it is this way. We are no longer a free country. We have been captured by globalists. And sadly, you know, like that famous line from V for Vendetta, if you want to know who to blame, who's to blame for all this, all you have to do is simply look in a mirror. I know why you did it. You were scared. You know, you were pressured. You were propagandized. You were lied to. You were told that if you didn't take the jab, you were going to die. You were told that, you know, you're going to kill your grandma on and on and on and on. That's not the story. That's not the lesson. The lesson is, or the, how can I put this? The lesson that most people are missing from everything that happened since about 2018, 2019 in our country. And honestly, it was happening before then too. It was just happening on a smaller uh, uh, level just with the media. But, you know, after the whole COVID hysteria, and especially now that more and more facts have come out, almost every single person that was labeled a conspiracy theorist during the COVID stuff has now been justified. Almost every one. What does that tell you? It tells me that you can't believe a single thing that comes out of these people's mouths ever again. But for whatever reason, like, I don't know, 70, 80 percent of our population must just be so soft headed or so oblivious to what actually happened that they continue to believe the propaganda and the lies. So I know I've kind of been all over the map here, but, you know, some people came in. When I made a couple of videos about that Mazda 3, and again, I was trying to kind of, you know, disrupt or, or, or fool the algorithm uh, and maybe get a little bit of the heat off of me so my videos will get a little more traction so that I can stay afloat a little longer. Uh, but nothing I do anymore seems to be working. Uh, I come in, I make a mechanical video, and that pisses off the people that just want to see uh, you know, prepping related videos or political related videos or whatever it is. And at the end of the day, I would argue I'm probably one of the most free people you'll ever meet because I run my own business. I own my property. Uh, and I'm not trying to brag. This is just stuff that my wife and I have worked really hard to do over the years. We own everything. We don't have car payments or motorcycle payments or anything like that. We buy, if we buy something, we buy it with cash money, right? That's how we've always done things. And it's kept me from being a debt slave. So I'm not a slave to debt or anything like that. I am still a slave to property taxes and other things like that, fuel prices and, you know, food prices and on and on and on, just like you. But... I don't have a boss other than the IRS, the federal government. I don't have a boss. I run my own business. What's left of it anyway, after Joe Biden has basically destroyed the drilling industry in the United States of America, my state, uh, one of the richest oil states in the nation, has one of the lowest rig counts in its history. We're just not drilling for oil. Why is that? Because the federal government has made it damn near impossible to do so at least on federally owned lands and things like that. So all of these things that have been done in the name of 
the Green New Deal or climate change, you know, whatever, have been destructive to the American family. That's who they're attacking, the American family, the American patriot, the person that thinks that in the old days of America, all you had to do was go out, work hard, work hard long enough, get good at whatever that skill is. Your boss would recognize it. You would get promoted. You would get raises on and on and on. It don't work that way anymore. It's a brown nose society. Those brown nosers, ass kissers, are the ones that get to go to the top of the food chain. And meanwhile, the guy that works extra hard out in the shop, he gets passed up for promotion time and time again. And here goes the brown noser right up to the top of the food chain. And you do that enough times. You know, I'm reminded of that. Uh, I haven't read the book, but I've seen several videos on YouTube about the fourth turning. Uh, I, I can never remember the thing, but it's like the one where, you know, weak men create hard times, hard times create strong men, on and on and on. You've probably heard it before. We're definitely in the weak men phase. And not only are we there, we've promoted them to the highest levels of management and the highest levels in the United States government. Weak men are destroying our country right now. Meanwhile, there are still strong men around, and I'm not saying I'm some, you know, Hercules dude or whatever or anything like that, but I am strong in my knowledge of the founding ways of this country, the founding principles of this country. And I refuse to stand by while they're, what's the word? Eroded? That's sort of a good word, but they're being destroyed intentionally by these weak people. So guys, that's where I'm at on things. I don't know where you are, but you know, if, if it pisses you off when I throw up a how-to or a DIY video, just do me a favor and don't tune into that video. I wasn't like misleading anyone when I did the Mazda repair videos. The title said clearly what I was doing. It didn't say anything about politics or SHTF or anything like that. But yet, several people came in. One guy even called me a grease monkey. Why am I doing all these grease monkey videos and stuff like this? And what I'm trying to say is, while that does bother me a little bit, that I'm like, well, that's kind of weird that someone would come in there on an auto mechanic video and complain that it's not what they want to see. It's sort of like, uh, you know, I would imagine like Dave Chappelle or some other famous comedian, but Dave Chappelle is a great example. It's probably sort of like the way Dave Chappelle or somebody like that feels whenever they do something that's a big hit, right? Like they, uh, I'm trying to think, like uh, uh, Dave Chappelle's Prince character. I mean, my God, that's so hilarious, right? And so spot on. And if Dave Chappelle was like at a comedy club and some guy was out there in the audience going, hey, do the Prince thing, man. Hey, hey, do the crackhead guy. You know, it would ruin the show for everyone else. <laughs> and that's what I feel like. I've, I've been heckled. I've been heckled. And I don't really know. I mean, I can handle it when people come in to the comments and they're like, hey, I disagree with you on XYZ issue that you were talking about here. And I, I actually like that because that it sharpens up my chops as well, right? But when someone comes in and complains that I'm not doing enough scenario videos or something like that and calls me a grease monkey or whatever, then uh, that's a little bit offensive. But what I want to tell people like that is that I am probably the most free man you're ever going to lay witness to in the 2020s, right? It's 2024. I work for myself. I have no boss. Uh, I do what I want on these videos. And that includes you, commenter. You're not my boss either. So if I put up something that you don't like once in a while, hey, I'm not doing it to be a jerk or to be a dick. I'm doing it actually to help people that might be in a similar situation that I'm in. Okay? I'm hurting for money. So I brought that uh, $400 Mazda to make some extra money so that I can continue to be a free man and provide you guys content whenever I feel like doing it. The scenario videos in particular, I get a lot of requests for those and I do enjoy doing them, but I have to be in the right frame of mind to do them or they're going to suck. And I won't put out something like that that sucks. So when you're wondering why I'm not doing the thing, Maybe try not to be the guy that's heckling 
out in the audience. Maybe instead, try to find a nicer way to go, hey, you know, I understand why you're doing this, but, you know, I, I really miss, you know, it's, it's all about kill them with kindness kind of a thing. You know, it would have been, I would have received it a lot better if the person would have come in and been like, oh yeah, man, I know you're busy trying to make some extra money here, but could you please do a video about X, Y, Z topic? But they weren't very specific. They were just said something like get back to your core, which I found laughable because my core is actually auto mechanics. That's the first video I ever put out. You can go look at my channel. The very first video I ever put out the very first success I ever had was related to DIY and how to repairs and several of those videos, not everyone is a big hit, but several of those videos have made me a lot of money and have gained me a lot of subscribers, which helps me to make even more money. And I'm not all about the money. I'm actually, You know, I'm not going to say I'm not one of these rich people that are rich enough to say I don't care about money, but I don't care about it in the same way that I did when I just got out of high school and I had nothing and stuff like that. I'm doing a little better than that. Again, all my stuff's paid for other than, uh, you know, paying my property taxes and other weird things that come up uh, to live life. Uh, we're actually sitting pretty here, but I'm worried about the future. I'm worried about what's going to happen you know right now it seems like a dollar buys a nickel's worth what's going to happen when ten dollars or twenty dollars buys a nickel's worth so that's why i have to have more paper i have to stack that paper while i can and also i'm young and i'm, I'm young enough that i can still do a lot of these things and i want to try to make my family money while i can so when you guys are confused about why i'm doing certain things the way i'm doing them just remember this. I'm a free man. I do what the hell I want to do when I want to do it. And that's what makes it good. If I did it in a different way and I was on someone else's schedule, it wouldn't be good. It would be forced and I wouldn't perform the right way. So hopefully that clears things up. Uh, I had several more videos that I was going to make on that Mazda, but again, I had enough complaints that I'm like, nah, I guess I won't right now, or maybe I'll make the video and, and put it out, you know, six months from now or something like that. But yeah, it's just weird, man. Uh, I've never been heckled before, but I guess I have now. So <laughs> I'm going to keep doing what I do as long as I can do it or until YouTube kicks me off the platform altogether or until, you know, my viewership gets low enough that I'm just like, it's just not worth it anymore. We'll see which one comes first. I don't know. Hit me up in the comments. I mean, I don't know. I, I wish I knew the recipe and the formula to make videos gain more traction, but I really don't without being misleading, without being clickbaity and stuff like that. And I refuse to play that game. So, uh, we'll just continue on right now. We're going through hell. But as Winston Churchill famously said, when you're going through hell, keep going. Never give up. Never give in. No matter what. So that's my plan. I appreciate you guys tuning in and listening to my little rant here. Hopefully it wasn't too uh, whatever. Hopefully it's whatever it is. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up. If you hated it, hit the thumbs down. If you hate me, come down in the comments, write some snarky shit, whatever. We can go back and forth. I don't care. We have lost so much, man. We have lost so much in such a short amount of time. It's so freaking depressing. Hang in there, guys. It's either going to get way better or way worse real soon. Appreciate you tuning in. As always, I stand for liberty to the bitter end. I hope you do too.